This is a, a, a picture by Henry Fuseli, who's an Anglo-Swiss painter. It's called The Nightmare. Actually, from my perspective, rather than illustrating a nightmare, it illustrates two um, sleep disorders. The first being of sleep paralysis, which is commonly reported in the normal population. And the other thing that it illustrates is something that often goes hand in hand with sleep paralysis, which is something called hypnagogic hallucinations. So what we think this represents is that during dreaming sleep, during REM sleep, we're completely paralyzed. The only muscles that work are the muscles that allow us to breathe for obvious reasons, and also the muscles that move our eyes from left to right, which is where the term rapid eye movement comes from. But actually the rest of our musculature is completely paralyzed. In individuals with sleep paralysis, it seems that that mechanism of paralysis that arises in REM sleep is not switched off quickly enough when we wake up. And if that happens and there remain fragments of REM sleep that intrude into wakefulness, that can also be associated with hallucinations, which we think probably represents dream mentation spilling over into consciousness. Now, if you can imagine that you're lying in bed and you're paralyzed, and you can't move. Some of those hallucinations that you might experience is of somebody sitting on your chest, of somebody pinning you down. The other types of hallucinations that people with sleep paralysis often experience are out of body or an intruder in the room or standing over the edge of the bed. And we know that sleep paralysis and hallucinations, as well as being a feature of a range of neurological disorders, conditions like narcolepsy, for example, are often much more likely to occur in anxious individuals because their REM sleep is much more likely to be disrupted and they're much more likely to wake up from REM sleep and experience these kinds of phenomena. <laughs>